I'm going to make a more in-depth video later that's going to explain everything you did. Right now, I just want to show like what it does. Alright, so go ahead and do one of the things that you set up. You can do anything. Uh, this one right here. Yeah. So, if, it's, if the value of analog 1 is greater than 1,021, which is almost the maximum, it'll have to go... Forward. Well, it'll go clockwise. Alright, now make it spin the other way. If I if the if the value of analog since analog one is less than five hundred, it'll go anti clockwise and turn fifteen degrees. Alright, make it bigger than that number. Alright, I'll change analog one to make it smaller. Using the PlayStation 2. It's not stopping. PlayStation 2 controller thingy. Uh, hold on. That's how you're controlling it. Alright. Uh, I got 511. Oh, so it's not perfect. So maybe. Let me change it to 511. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you just have to be careful with it. Yes. Alright, uh, make it say hello. Alright. Alright, there you go. That How'd you do that? By leaving it alone and not pressing it. I really have to, what happens when you press the button in? It just spins. I thought it also says hello. And yeah, things. I was going to work on that. Oh. Let me change that real fast. Oh, by the way, using an Arduino Uno, you can get these for $35. Uh, that PlayStation 2 thing is like $4. Is it? This computer was $150. It's pretty old. It's actually really old. See, look, it did it. It's talking. But it works fine. I wonder if, if I bring a PlayStation 2. We're using Linux. That's why it works fine. If I bring a PlayStation 2 controller, do you think it'll make the same, just like this? We could try to do this, but plug it in to that, and maybe it'll work the same. Uh, that might be more difficult. We might have to take the controller apart. Uh, I got like seven of them. Alright, well, that was pretty cool. We could use the buttons, because they also have these, these little cables. The buttons, buttons also have the cables. Right. Yeah, that. Yeah, you could, you could wire a whole PlayStation controller, PlayStation 2 controller, it would work. I have a whole lot, one of them is damaged. One of well them then, yeah, bring in the one that's damaged. That would be the one to play with. And I'll bring two of those. Alright, cool. Because I don't think a hammer would do it good. Well, very nice. I'm going to stop the video.